What is the best HF antenna that you can get on eBay? What is the best HF antenna? Today, we're going to talk about three HF antennas that I have personally used that I got from eBay that I think you should try out, and it's coming up right now. Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0, thanks for joining us today. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB, and we do reviews of Ham Radio stuff on this channel. So thank you for um, subscribing if you're a subscriber, and thank you for watching if you're not a subscriber. Whether you're a subscriber or not, thank you for watching. I'll be curious to see your comments below. Now, there are a lot of antennas on eBay. Some of them are good. Some of them are questionable. I think maybe in the past, I've had an eBay account for like 25 years. I think maybe in the past I've bought one or two that were just junk. And I kind of suspected they were junk at the time, so I kind of got what I paid for. <laughs> but, I mean, it's okay. But these are three antennas that I have purchased, used, and recommend to you, the viewer. So I'm going to talk about these three right now. This is not an exhaustive list. This is not a video that says these are the only three good antennas on eBay. That's not what I'm saying. These are three great antennas on eBay that I have purchased, used, and I would recommend to you. So let's get started. First off, this is a screenshot from the overhead camera of all of them. Uh, so this is a Nelson antenna 9 to 1 random wire. This is an antenna. This is a center fed dipole. No, this is an this is an off center fed dipole here. And then this is a linked dipole with the ends uh right there that you can link uh, this one's for 20 meters you can put ends you can link the other section to this one and turn it into a 40 meter antenna so these are the antennas that we're going to be talking about today i am going to start with this one in the middle right here and i'm going to come over to this page these guys this is made by a gentleman whose ebay handle is radio man 79 now if we go back and look at his see other items he's got about 244 listings right now i have been using these antennas for a number of years you know four or five years i've been using these antennas this uh he's he didn't make uh he he basically just made center fed dipoles when i found him he's really been upgrading his game over the last few years this uh, 40 2017 and 10 meter fan dipole is one of his new ones he's got these off center fed dipoles now this is some of his older stuff if you scroll down but 244 listings you're going to see a lot of stuff in there so i had one of his 40 meter dipoles hanging in my backyard right over here on the other side of the shack for two years it worked great it tuned up on 40 meters with no problem i would do ft8 i would do sideband i think i tried some am on it at one time i never could reach anybody or find any nets on am and 40 meters but uh but it worked great and you know and it would tune 15 meters because 40 meters and 15 meters are harmonics of one another so i could turn up 15 meters back then there wasn't much activity on the 15 meter band because of the solar cycle we're starting to see more activity on the 15 meter band right now in fact at the time of this recording i usually check the 15 meter band on ft8 in the evenings late afternoon evenings and i've been making contacts south america europe Asia, sometimes Asia, a lot of North American Canadian stations are out there on 15 meters, and it's a really fun band to work when it is up. But Radio Man 79, he makes all kinds of good antennas for off center fed, center fed, fan dipoles, multi band dipoles. Uh, he made me one, I emailed him one time and I said, Would you make me a custom antenna? And he's like, What do you want? And I said, I want a 20 meter rotatable, no, a 10 meter. I want a 10 meter rotatable dipole. And he's like, well, how would that work? I said, and I told him about the Ed Fong antennas. I said, Ed Fong puts his antennas in this uh, PCI 200, this specialized, um, I forget the type of it right now. It's a type of PVC that has thinner walls than what your standard PVC would have. And he claims it resonates better in there. And this guy, Radio Man 79, he came back to me. He's like, yeah, we could do that. So he built me a 10 meter center fed dipole antenna with, um, with hooks, not hooks, but with uh, with inserts on the ends so that you could just slip the regular, the PCI 200 PVC pipe over the end of that, and it would make for a flat rotatable dipole on 10 meters. I used it for a little bit. It worked fine. I didn't have a rotator, so I would just go out there and turn it by hand and point it that way and point it that way, you know. But it worked great. When 10 meters was up, it worked fine. I made a lot of contacts with it. I was real happy. Worked great on FT8, so there... That, that was that was a, a really good thing that uh, that he did for me. I'm not saying that if you contact him for anything that he's gonna always always make you custom stuff. but after shortly after that, I started seeing him make some 
rotatable dipoles in there. So I'm like, I gave him an idea and he ran with it. And now he sells them. And I think that's great. Next is the Nelson antenna. Now, Nelson antenna, he makes several versions of, of HF antennas as well. In fact, he claims, if you go look on his eBay page, which I'll bring up here in a second, he claims he is the best-selling antenna on eBay. A bold statement. Okay, maybe that's true, maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't have any eBay statistics in front of me to tell. But uh, anyway, this is the random wire right here, and you can see I've got some paracord attached to it. This is the whole thing. I've got it wrapped up right here. This is the one that I have been using at Parks on the Air quite a lot recently. I did this with my uh, two or three times I've taken this to the Galveston Island State Park. I've activated um, that park several times. I activated a couple of parks up near my hunting lease. I hung it up at my hunting lease and did some IC705 work on it just to do just to I was doing a video for one of the IC705 tuners. And I was using this antenna, this random wire, because a random wire needs a tuner. A random wire, it's 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 random. So it's it's a nine to one random wire, and it requires a tuner. You can't work it tunerless, as it were. So I was testing the MAT seven hundred five tuner for the seven hundred five with this random wire. It worked really well. Made a lot of parks on the air contacts with that antenna, and I've been very happy with it. I've also got. Uh, I've also got an NFED half wave from him that's an 80 meter NFED half wave. I made a mistake when I bought the 80 meter. It is way too long. I wish I would have gotten the 40 meter. I'll probably pick up an NFED half wave 40 meter from him at some point just because I want to be able to use it in a parks on the air environment. But the 80 meter, I've tried to hang the 80 meter up even with the 50 foot carbon fiber mask from Gigaparts. The 80 meter, it, there was just, I never could find enough room in the state park I was at. I only tried a couple of state parks. I tried Galveston Island and I think it was uh, LBJ Grasslands. And I'm just like, I don't have enough room to string this wire out, so it was way too long. So not a good for parks on the air activation, but it might be good for a deer lease activation. You might see that on field day upcoming. So we'll pop over here to the Nelson Antenna's eBay page, and this is his NFED half wave, HF NFED dipole. He calls it an NFED dipole. NFED half wave, 10, 20, 200 watt, 80 to 10 meters, no tuner needed. This is the one that I have. I've not used it yet because, like I said, I've always tried to use it at a park, and I never had enough room to actually get through it, so I, I wasn't able to actually get it to work yet. His random wire is another one that he has down here, which I don't know where that one is right now. There it is, random wire HF antenna. This is the one that I actually have, the one that you just saw. There's the box right there. It's kind of unmarked. But it works really well. This is a very lightweight antenna. Easy to, uh, made in the USA is always good. This is a very lightweight antenna. Easy to carry portable. Easy to throw in a backpack. Uh, not really heavy at all. And it works really well. Right here he says, here it is after hundreds of requests. After over 4,000 of my solo 9 to 1 units sold. Here is now the complete antenna. The UJM 150 to 50. Why my matchbox is different. He talks about this right here. He's got a lot of information and details on his page this right here we go back here this is this is his nfed half wave page and it says ebay's top portable antenna seller like i said i i don't know how true that is i'm sure he sells a lot of them in fact he told me he sold a lot of them when i reached out to him on ebay i said hey i've got a youtube channel i'd like a couple of your antennas I, I said, um, I said, I'm not asking for for a free one or anything he did give me a discount he sold me he basically sold me um buy one get one free so i bought the infat halfway which i paid for and he sent me the random wire for free i'm like okay that's cool thanks a lot for that and i've done several videos with that infat half uh with that random wire and sent people from my videos to his page so hopefully and i you know what i had never heard of this guy before i i just found him on ebay one day and i found him and i'm like oh that looks good and he claims he's the top portable antenna seller on ebay i was like okay let's test that theory Okay, cool. Let's test that. Let's see what he wh what it is. And as soon as I put up the first parks on the air where I start talking about Nelson antennas, I had like four or five people come along. Oh yeah, I use Nelson antennas. They're great. Yeah, I love those antennas. I'm like, I didn't know. <laughs> I had no idea. News to me. So I found a great antenna by happenstance, and I've had it confirmed by you, the viewer, that he makes really great products, and I've been very happy with it. Look forward to using them in more park activations upcoming. The last one, the third and final antenna we'll talk about today is one that I just recently found, and I, I kind of poke around on eBay sometimes, and I look for new DMR radios and new stuff that maybe the maybe the U.S. sellers aren't selling yet because it's a new name brand or something like that. But I poke around for antennas as well, among other things. This is one that I found that he just kind of called. He basically calls it his 
dipole antenna. HF ham radio antenna off center fed dipole. This is the linked dipole. I actually have the off center fed dipole, his 40 meter off center fed dipole. I talked a minute ago about the 80 meter random wire, or I'm sorry, the 80 meter in fed halfway from Nelson antennas I bought that was too long. I also tried to help hang up an 80 meter off center fed from Aerial 51, which, which is made by spider reams and sold by Vibraplex in the USA. I don't have enough room for that in my backyard. So I'm going to put that up at the deer lease. You'll see a video on that upcoming as well. But I want, I knew I didn't want 80 meters. So I, I went ahead and grabbed one of his 40 meters antenna, 40 meter antennas. And that is the one that is hanging. It's an off center fed dipole cut for 40 meters. So it'll tune 10, six, six and 10. Uh, it's kind of tricky on 10. It'll tune 10. It's not the greatest FWR. It is below two. It's like 1.7 to one, but it tunes six really well, tunes 12, 15, 17, 20. I got it to tune 30. It's not advertised to tune 30, but it will tune 30 with about, about a 1.5 to one SWR. And then of course it tunes 20 and 40 just fine. So, so, but that's the one I've been using for the last couple of months. I'm recording this video in June of 2021. So that's the one I've been using for the last couple of months in my own at my own home qth running ft8 on 100 watts from the flex radio doing a little bit of sideband um uh, if i hear someone calling cq parks on the air cq soda uh, summits on the air i will i will go back to them on sideband and i'll try to work that station to get into those logs as well but this is the n9 sab antenna it's funny because when i first reached out to this guy i said what are your antennas called what do you name them he said i just call them hf antennas okay that's fine so, but his name on eBay is N9SAB, and once I looked that up, there are people who have done reviews for these antennas on YouTube, and they call them N9SAB antennas, so go figure. So now I'm calling this the N9SAB antenna. Again, this is the 40, 20 and 40 meter linked dipole. The other one looks just like this. It's got this really nice molded fitting around here. This is like a rubberized fitting around here to keep rain and water out of the connection. It comes with this cap for the SO239. So just hang it up and it does very well from there. Move on, moving over here to his eBay page. This is what his eBay page looks like. This is the 6 to 80 meter 100 watt HF antenna off center fed dipole. Again, that's the, that's the 80 meter. The one that I have is the 40 meter. This one right here. This is the one that I have, the 40 meter. Uh, mine didn't come with that right there. Well, actually, that's that's another version of the 40 meter, I think. This is the link dipole right here. This is the one that I have had in the shot a minute ago. So he claims that these are very lightweight and portable, and he is correct. He is absolutely correct. These are very lightweight and portable. It's been, uh, there's the there's the 40 meter. Six to 40 meters off center fed dipole free shipping right there. So that's the one I actually have hanging in my backyard right now that I've been working a lot of FT8 when the band is open on six meters and 15 meters and 17 meters, like I was talking about a minute ago, that's the antenna I've been on for the last two months, roughly. The only drawback to this antenna, and I emailed him and asked him, I said, dude, I might want to put my KPA 500 in line after my flex radio. Do you make an antenna that does more than 100 watts? Because all of his antennas are advertised at 100 watts. He's like, no, I only make 100 watt antennas. They're made for portable use. They're not really, he goes, I, I know some people that hang them up and leave them in their backyard and they're certainly fine for that. He's like, but I'm, I designed these to be lightweight and portable for, uh, for backpackers, soda, poda, whatever. I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. No problem. He's being honest with me. I can't, uh, I can't fault him for that. That's great. In contrast to that, I should have mentioned uh, when I was mentioning those other two antennas, Nelson antennas rates most of his stuff at about 200 watts. I think he might do some high power stuff. And then Radio Man 79 on eBay has just recently started making, uh, started wrapping his balance a little bit differently, his off center fed and center fed balance a little bit differently, where he claims those will handle about 800 watts. So he's got a couple that are around two or 300 watts, and he's got a couple new ones that'll, that'll handle 800 watts. So I'm like, okay, so I'm going to take my N9SAB antenna off center fed dipole down. I'm going to get a Radio Man 79 off center fed dipole for 40 meters, put it up. That's rated at 800 watts, and I'm going to use my KPA 500 amplifier behind behind my uh behind my flex radio at home and that's going to be my home base station for a little while we'll see i'm doing some experimenting we're doing some radio changing out around so it's going to be fun to play with all that so what do you think about these antennas do you use any of these antennas have you ever heard of these uh i bet most of you have probably heard of nelson antennas some of you might have heard of n9sab i wonder how many people have heard of the radio 79 antennas radio man 79 antennas because he's got when i found him he had like 15 or 20 different antennas listed 15 or 20 different postings on ebay and now as you just saw he has 244 
wow, he's upgraded. And that's great. You know, his antennas are very simple. If you don't enjoy building antennas, which I enjoy building antennas, but I like building, I like to do it on my own time. And I like to use things that other people build and see how they do it as well. Sometimes you just want to put up an antenna and get on the air. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with just putting in an antenna up in your backyard or in POTA and just getting on the air and making contacts. So Radio Man 79, those are some solid antennas for what he does. So who has used either of these three? And if you're not using these three or if you're using something else on eBay, what are you using that you purchased on eBay to get an HF radio antenna off of eBay and you used it and you like it? What do you recommend from that website? Put a comment below in the description. Thanks for watching.